So now that I have my robot built with the medium motor arm attachment on the front, I'm going to go to my program and click on new project. And I want to save this project as the lift, oops, as the lift, the medium motor arm. And I can add my name on there so I can remember who I am. But I notice I ran out of space, so if you just need to do an A and remember your partner is a different letter, that works too. Okay, so I'm going to save that there. Now I'm going to be using the arm on my medium motor to lift my flower. This is from the first Lego League hydrodynamics set a couple years ago. And I want the flower to be lifted up so that the water goes in and the flower stays up. So I'm going to be moving my arm from this position up. And what I want to do is always start at the same position. So I'm going to start it with the Legos touching this piece here. So I always know exactly where to start it. Then I'll go over to my port view and my medium motor is in port A. Right now it says zero degrees and it's where I want to start it. And now I want it to just go all the way to the top and that's 151 degrees. So in testing the robot, we came up with 151 degrees of rotation. So um, in my motor section, I'm going to take the top block and motor A is actually where the arm is plugged into right here. So we want to run motor A clockwise for 150, that's sufficient, 150 degrees, not rotations. And then make sure you go down to control and stop and exit program and then download it to your robot. Now that it's downloaded, I'm going to push the back button and go over to my files and it'll say lift medium motor arm and I'm going to go down to the play button, which is lift flower. I'm going to make sure that I'm starting my arm at the same place that I programmed it to be. I'm going to put them right next to the flower where I want to put them and push the play button. One thing important to note about moving this arm is it can only move a certain quantity of degrees. If you program it to move more than what it is able to move, your program's gonna get stuck waiting for this motor to finish rotating all the way around, but it can't rotate all the way around, so it's just gonna be frozen in its program waiting for that block to complete that block of program. So only ever program this arm to move the distance that it's actually capable of doing.